Hi there. We will discuss the concept of angular magnification in this video. This concept is useful to find magnification for microscopes and telescopes. We know that when an object is situated far from the eye, it subtends a small angle on the retina. Whereas if the object is moved closer to the eye, it subtends a larger angle on the retina and it therefore appears bigger. So we could extend the logic and say that we can keep getting the object more and more close to the eye and it should keep appearing larger and more clear. But it doesn't work like that. The eye has a limitation. It has a near point or a least distance of distinct vision which is about 25 centimeter. If we get the object closer than this 25 centimeter to the eye, the object starts to get blurred and we don't see it clearly. So the challenge for us is if we have to see objects larger and more clear, how do we bring them closer to the eye or alternatively how do we increase the angle that the object subtends on the retina so that we can see it larger and clear. This is where a lens comes in useful. We keep a lens very close to the eye and move the object towards the lens. The lens now forms a virtual image and it appears to the eye that it is watching a large object kept at a distance which is at distinct vision or beyond the distinct vision. Now let's consider two situations. In the first situation we have the object kept at 25 centimeter or at near point from the eye and in another case we keep a lens between the eye and the object and the object is kept between the focal length and the lens such that the virtual image is formed at the near point or distance d from the eye. Now this virtual image is larger than the object and therefore it subtends a larger angle phi on the retina of the eye compared to a situation where there is no lens between the eye and the object. We will now quantify the extent of magnification. On the left side, we have an object at 25 centimeters from the eye and no lens. On the right hand side, we have a lens and the object is kept such that the image is formed at distance D. Now these three triangles are similar and therefore by principle of similarity, we can say that AB by AO is equal to A dash B dash by A dash O and A dash O is D and we can write these as tan phi. Similarly, on the left hand side, we can write AB by D is equal to tan theta. So we can find magnification as A dash B dash which is what the eye sees upon AB and which is tan phi by tan theta and for small values of phi and theta we can approximate it to phi by theta. This is an important concept and an important formula which you will use often. Further we can say that magnification is a dot O by A O which is the distance of distinct vision by U where the object is placed. We can have two types of magnification. In one the object is placed at the focus and this is called relaxed vision. In another the object is placed between focus and the lens such that the virtual image is formed at a distance of distinct vision from the eye. 
and this is called distinct vision. This gives higher magnification. When the object is placed at focus, it appears to the eye that the rays are coming from infinity and this is relaxing to the eye. The ciliary muscles are less stretched in this case versus the case of distinct vision. Because the object is placed at focal length, the magnification is D upon F. In the case of distinct vision, we find the value of U using the lens formula and we get magnification as 1 plus D upon F. So we get more magnification in this case, but it is more strenuous to the eye. The magnification of a microscope can be written as magnification of objective into the magnification of eyepiece. For relaxed vision, we can write it as magnification of the objective into D by Fe as we have seen previously. And similarly, we can express it for distinct vision. In a telescope, the rays come from infinity and they converge at the focus of the objective. Now we can adjust the eyepiece such that the image is on Fe, in which case we get a relaxed vision, or it is between Fe and the lens, which gives us distinct vision. We use the angle subtended by the object and the angle subtended by the image to find the magnification. This is the image triangle. So we find magnification in case of relaxed vision as minus FO upon FE and the length of the telescope as FO plus FE. Using the lens maker formula and substituting the value of UE in this equation here, we get the magnification. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching.